May the fourth be with you! Woo. And now for a video about something that has absolutely nothing to do with that. What's up guys? I can't believe it. We finally got a leak about the new UA support. <laughs> yeah, I'm really, really excited. This is really good. Like, uh, the cards are actually good, which is amazing. Except... We didn't get another level 4. But hey, that doesn't matter, because the cards we got are really, really solid, so... Yeah! Let's get right into them. The first one is UA Dreadnought Dunker. Woo! Get dunked on! What he does is, you can special summon this card from your hand by returning one UA monster you control from your hand, except Dreadnought Dunker. You can only special summon a UA Dreadnought Dunker this turn once this way. That That's fine. That They all do that. Um, what we care about is his actual effect. If this card attacks a defense position monster, inflict piercing damage. Okay, I called that. Um, I knew we were going to get a big high level attack power piercer. I just knew it. That's exactly what Konami would give this archetype. It's just something with a lot of a lot of attack but a, a lackluster effect. However, they, they put a little spin on it. It says, when this card inflicts battle damage to your opponent, you can target one card on the field and destroy it. Which is great, that gives you a removal that isn't via battle. Like, we needed that desperately. Like, this deck bricks to Marshmelon. <laughs> Spirit Reaper. Cards that can't be killed by battle, that Slugger just kind of slams into and then, you know, looks at his bat like something's wrong with it. That, that Those kind of monsters suck for this deck. And this gives us a way of getting rid of things like that, non-destructible by battle cards. This gives that, and also it's card, not monster card, so you can destroy like anything on the field. You can, you know, pop back row, you can pop a field card, you can pop your own cards, which you actually may want to do when we go down the next card. But yeah, he's 2,500 attack, which is great. Uh, he goes up to 3,000 even after one stadium boost. Yeah, and he attacks anything and does piercing damage, use this with Jersey, yes! You can book a moon your opponent's best dude and he's got a bad defense and just crash into that thing, yes! For a game! And with a Jersey he gets to kill two monsters and pop two cards. Holy crap! This guy can clear a board. So yeah, thank you Konami, that's really really nice. Alright, next up is UA Rival Rebounder. Another basketball theme. This guy is... This guy's different. Um, he should have been the level 4, but he's not. He's a level 6. Hmm, one tribute. Monarch Stormport. Alright, well, what does he do? Uh, same return to your hand effect as all UAs. Uh, but, it says, if this card is special summoned during your opponent's turn, Okay, uh, or normal summon. Oh, okay, yeah, that, that's fine. Uh, yeah, we like to normal summon. Get searches. You can special summon one UA monster from your hand or graveyard, except rival rebounder. Okay, this is, this is like the Batman card. It's not the, it's not like the, the, the UA we wanted, but it's like the UA we needed, you know what I mean? It's like, <laughs> this thing is really, really interesting, he's very techy. Like, it, at first you're like, okay, so he gets a guy back from a graveyard, or spam ones from your hand, he gives you, what, an easy two guys on board. And then you think about it, wait, two guys? Two guys is great, that, that means that UA turnover tactics is actually now a usable card, and that card is great. It basically is a Morphing Jar number two, and that is excellent. It, it shuffles all monsters into the decks, and any monsters that went to the main deck, you know, I get UAs, and you get monsters from your main deck, but if I shuffled in like Synchros, or Axes, or Fusions, or Rituals, or whatever, and that's all you have, or whatever, like, you know, Necros, you can't summon anything. So it just is, it's a non-targeting removal for any extra deck monster. That card's great. Problem was, his activation condition meant you need to have two UAs of different names on board, and that is just a clumsy mess. However, this is great. This guy summons him, when he summons, and he summons another guy from the graveyard of hand that isn't himself, so by default, UA turnover tactics is live with this card. 
Not only that, it's from the graveyard, and because it's from graveyard or hand, it doesn't need a target in the graveyard to start with for it to be able to grab the graveyard card. So you can tribute over an existing UA monster and then summon it immediately back to the field. So it's basically like normal summoning this thing without tribute. It's, it's effectively the same thing. And so he's kind of like our other level 4, but he's not a level 4, uh, I guess, because they didn't want the synchroing or XYZ. Uh, so they gave us a level 6, which would be hard to use for either of those things. However, this guy is really, really nice. And the special summon on an opponent's turn, that one's a little rough. You're going to have to basically use a strategy of leaving a midfielder on board during your opponent's turn, which is not always ideal because you pretty much need him to play any of the other guys and get your searches off. However, if you have an extra one in hand, you can leave a UA midfielder on board, and then whenever your opponent tries to like target you know, one of your guys, you can just be like, all right, uh, midfielder activate, because he is a quick effect. Uh, bounce whatever useless guy or whatever guy is getting targeted by an opponent's card effect, send it back to the hand, play this thing, get this thing's effect off, and grab either a better guy from your graveyard or just replay the guy that was getting targeted. Like, let's say you used an ace and they used Regeki and you negated it, um, and then they used Darkhole, you're like, oh crap, so, <laughs> so you, uh, or not Darkhole, that wouldn't work, uh, Ring of Destruction. In, in, on your ace, and you're like, ah, nuts. So you use midfielder to bounce and then play this guy and then play your ace again. Uh, Ring of Destruction loses his target, and then UA is on the board again, and he can get another negate because he's he's been refreshed. That's really, 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 really nice. And he works with turnover tactics. If Because turnover tactics is a quick play, and you can use it like a trap. Remember that. So, this thing is one of those cards where it's like, you're like, okay, that's kind of cool. Then the more you think about it, you're like, wow, this thing's actually super good, and it's almost a three of, because <laughs> it can do some it can do some damage. Um, if it could get back itself, it'd be a guaranteed three, but two, maybe. And I guess we didn't really say this, but Dreadnought, is a, he's a one. He's a nice boss monster for the deck. High attack power piercer. That's He's a boss monster. All right, next up. UA Signing Deal. <laughs> That's a spell, normal spell, which everyone kind of called because like, all right, we got every other type of spell, so we might as well get a normal. Um, we didn't get a four, but we got Rebounder and this. Again, a card we need, we needed, not the card we wanted. Uh, it's a special summon one UA monster from your deck, but its effects are negated, and also you can't use it as a synchroxy. Who cares? You're not going to do that with UAs anyway. Then you can lose. Then you lose life points equal to the monster's level times 300. You can only use this card once per turn. Okay. Um, wow. Okay. This special summons any UA from the deck. I don't care. I don't care what deck you're playing. No. This card is busted. Um, no restriction. Summon any monster from the archetype from the deck. That card is awesome. There, every other archetype in the game would want this card in their at their disposal. It doesn't have any weird you know, restrictions like you only can do it if your opponent's got an extra guy or you, you, know, you can only do it if uh, you have a card in the graveyard. This is just weird stuff. Or you know, you have to have a guy. None of that is there. It's you pay some life points. Whoop de doo. What? 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 The, the biggest guy's an eight, so you pay twenty four. Well, who cares? <laughs> I mean, if people are willing to pay three thousand for that solemn card, then yes, this card is great. This guy can get any from your deck, and like, okay, this. It's basically like a better Rota, because you can grab your midfielder if you need it, or you can grab something else, and then just swap it with a thing in your hand. So like, alright, you need an ace, but you have something dumb in your hand, well, get the ace out, swap with this, swap the ace back, and now you got an ace. You effectively just searched it with no repercussions. So, yes, this is just a pure consistency card. That's great. This, this is, this is awesome. Next up. UA Penalty Box, it's a trap. <laughs> okay. And it's a continuous trap. Now, here's this is interesting. UAs have, like, except counter every type of spell or trap. A continuous, a normal, 
a quick play and a field. Oh, and an equip. They the only thing they don't have is a counter trap card. So they have all this. People were wondering whether or not the spell card was going to be a normal or a continuous. Well, we got both. Just the continuous one was the trap, which is one of the two like type trap between trap and spell. Well, that's kind of neat. So we so all we're missing is a counter. Um, it's a trap. That's so weird. Like we haven't got this is the only set we've got a fourth support card, and it's a trap. <laughs> well, what does it what does it do? Is at the start of the damage step, if a UA monster battles an opponent's monster, you can banish that opponent's monster until your second end phase. Okay, th that's good. That's another... Okay, this is non-targeting, right? Uh, yeah, it doesn't, it doesn't say it targets. So this is a non-targeting removal, which is, again, something we don't have. We have battle, that was it. So now we got Dunker, which is a targeted destruction of any card, which is great. And we got banishing a card. That's probably the the ultimate removal. It's not permanent. It's it's until your opponent's next standby phase. Second standby phase. Uh, end phase, sorry. Um, I mean, it's during their end phase, so what are they going to do with it? They can't do anything with the card once they get it back. And if your opponent has survived that long, <laughs> then you deserve to lose the match, because... It, UA OTKs like crazy with a slugger and a jersey. There's no excuse for you letting that card ever come back. The game has been over for a turn. Um, but that's really not the effect we care about. It's a great battle trap. You leave that midfielder on board so that you can do your little rebounder shenanigans. Oh, but the midfielder kind of sucks. He's got no attack power. Oh, well, I can just flip this and the guy who was attacking it gets, gets sent out of play. Yay! Um, but that's not what really what we care about. The second effect is you can bash this card from your graveyard, add one UA spell from your deck to your hand. Yes! An in-theme support card that searches Jersey, Turnover Tactics, and the field spell UA Stadium. All those cards had a search card before. You could use Hidden Armory to grab Jersey, tell me where there was room in the deck. You can use Quick Booster to search the turnover tactics, but that card sucks. And then you can say, and you can use terraforming to search the spell. Oh my god, do I hate terraforming. Ugh, it does one thing, it searches a spell, and if you have all the spells in play, or out of play, or whatever, then it's dead. It's such a bad card. Ugh, I hate terraforming, it's so dumb, it's such a waste of space. But you need it because you need this stupid spell. But no, no, hey, we got a theme support, so you could probably drop Terraform into two and then use this thing. Granted, they made it a continuous card to be a troll. They're like, ah, well, you can banish it from your graveyard, but it's continuous, so good luck getting it there. <laughs> if it was a normal trap, it was just a battle trap, oh, it would be wonderful, because then you just activate it, and then it's in the graveyard, and then you can just use it! Yeah! Like, that'd be great, but no, we obviously can't, because that would be too good, because it's we're a deck of all commons and rares, so we, you know, if this was a super rare, I guarantee it would be a normal trap, but whatever. We don't get that lucky. But hey, you can reasoning this thing out of the deck, you could, uh, magical hat this thing out of the, out of the deck. Hey, well, actually, it doesn't say you can only use this once per turn, so if you magical had two of these, then that's actually not bad, because you can just use them both. Okay, okay, that's kind of, that's actually kind of good, but, but, but <laughs> in before everyone tells me I'm dumb. Uh, but, you know, hey, it searches turnover tactics and jersey. How many times have I said to you guys, I hate jersey at three because that's all you see, but when you don't have a jersey, you can't win a freaking game. Like, Yes, we have a way of grabbing it that's not something stupid like Hidden Armory. Ugh. Although, it'd be kind of funny to like blow this out of the deck with Hidden Armory. Whatever. Um, and it gets turnover tactics. And like I said, with Rebounder or Signing Deal, uh, uh, turnover tactics is actually not live. It's actually, it's actually a decent card. It's a one, at least. Main deck one, side the others against whatever you know, deck would be really weak to it, like Infernoids would get crushed. <laughs> oh, I can't summon anything. But hey, you know, we got decent support. And BA said they were done for now, but 
they didn't say Konami didn't mention anything about our deck and all our spell and traps this time around were hockey themed and we don't have a hockey guy uh, so maybe the dude who's on signing deal or the guy in the penalty box, which there looks like it might be the same guy. Is that guy? Good? Yeah, the guy in the penalty box has got blonde hair, and a guy in the signing just got blonde hair. Same guy confirmed. But hey, uh, actually, no, it's not, because the guy was holding a nine jersey, and the guy in this picture who's not in the penalty box is wearing a nine jersey. That's number nine for the other team. Anyway, <laughs> um, ah, card art. But anyway. Yeah, so we might have some more guys coming. You know, the guy that gets in signing deal, he's like this like blonde hair guy with, with the stunner shades. He's like, yeah, I'm cool. I got, I'm on the team now. That guy's going to be our level three, you know, normal hockey guy. And it's going to be great because we just need that for consistency. <laughs> he's going to be the long-awaited other level four is going to be this hockey guy. And it's all we're going to get next set. Just one card. It's just that guy. I, I, I call it. Um, but hey. The video's getting long, you guys will listen to me yammer. I, I'm just super excited about this, you can tell. Uh, this is the most energy I've had in a video for like weeks. All the other ones like, we're doing Rachel Beast today. Uh, but no, yeah, like, we're great. So, what do you guys think about these cards? Are they good? Are they bad? Are they trash? Am I stupid? Yes, but tell me, let me know. Um, that's all I can think about. So, hey, remember, if you don't troll the meta, just wait four sets for them to finally release the cards needed. <laughs>